everyone, this is Nermin from Mr. Derma, a Korean aesthetic beauty brand. As we get older, skin and tissues naturally lose elasticity. Now, most of us don't want to undergo plastic surgery. So, the expert came up with an alternative method, a non-surgical cosmetic treatment called threads. In today's video, we are going to elaborate on all of what is related to thread lifting treatment. What is a thread lift? What a thread lift can treat? Who is good candidate for a thread lift? What are the main types of threads? The differences between them and what each of them is used for. If it sounds like something you are interested in, please hit the like button, subscribe and let's get started. So what is a thread lift? A thread lift is a minimally invasive alternative to facelift surgery. So instead of surgically removing the patient's loose or sagging skin, threads pull up this sagging skin and regenerate collagen by implanting threads into the subcutaneous layer of the skin using small needles. These sutures, in return, create micro injuries that trigger collagen synthesis and tissue contraction, providing lift and contouring, and resulting healthier, firmer, and younger skin. There is no need to take out the threads after the treatment. The sutures will be dissolved and leave behind long-lasting effects with no scars. So what a thread lift can treat? Early loosening of the facial structures, jowls, sagging eyebrows, premature loosening of the neck skin. So who is a good candidate for a thread lift? The best candidate for this treatment is people who are experiencing early facial aging or who are showing visible signs of mild aging. These signs can include mild to moderate skin laxity, particularly in the mid face and fine lines and wrinkles around the nose, mouth and chin. The treatment should be determined after consultation, so what you need is to consult an appropriate professional based on your specific circumstance. And after examining your skin, the consultant will be able to decide if a thread lift treatment is an adequate cosmetic solution for you or not. Also, you should know that a thread lift won't give you the same dramatic result as surgical facelift. So if you are considering investing in this procedure, it's important to have realistic expectation. Now let's dig into the differences between thread types. There are three main types of sutures are used in thread lift procedures. PDO, PLA, and PCL. PDO or polydioxinone lifting threads. These threads have been around the longest and are made of synthetic biodegradable polymer that has been used in surgery for many years. PDO threads are absorbed into the body over six months and work by triggering fibroblast to produce more collagen in the targeted area. After PDO threads, PLA or polylactic acid threads were developed. They are made from a biocompatible polymer derived from lactic acid that has been used in many applications such as orthopedic pins and sutures. PLA threads is resorbable and it regenerates collagen over longer time than PDO threads. This type of thread increases the volume of saggy areas, therefore helping to restore shape to the facial areas as well as providing lift. PCL or polycaprolactone work by regenerating collagen over longer time than PDO and PLA. They leave behind a collagen structure that provides support for the skin, tines the skin, and prevents it from sagging. Due to the fibrotic reaction caused by the threads, the lifting and stretching action will continue even after the threads have been resorbed. The process of the thread breakdown produces molecules of small molecular weight, which subsequently induce the production of collagen and hyaluronic acid by the skin. 
the resulting skin is more moisturized, revitalized, and firm with a long lasting result. Now, after knowing that each thread is made from a different material, PDO, PLA, and PCL threads can be further derived into three categories mono, cog, and screw. So there is PDO mono, PCL mono, and PLA mono. And the same goes for cog and screw category. Mono threads, smooth structure that help with brightness, skin elasticity, and skin rejuvenation by stimulating collagen production. Which areas can be treated with mono threads? Upper and lower cheeks, forehead and brows, neck and jawline, nose to mouth lines, marionette lines, arms, buttocks, and abdomen. Cog threads, these threads have barbs that latch into your skin, like small fish hooks, to provide support and lift parts of your face. What areas can be treated with cog threads? We have jawline, neck loose skin, cheeks, wrinkles around the mouth and eyebrows. Screw threads. Screw threads made up of one or two intertwined threads. And these are used to help restore volume to the sunken part of your skin, as well as improve wrinkles. You can use it for wrinkles on the eye rim, nasolabial line, and neck lines. I hope I could cover all what you need to know about threads in this video. If I missed something or if you have any question, please comment it down below. Also, you can suggest what type of content you will be interested in. I'll be happy to make it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, check our Instagram page because there we post more content. Till the next time, have a great day.